Hi, it's Dr. Hunter again with another in our continuing series of Tools of the Trade. Uh, in the past we've talked about our light-based therapies and our sound-based therapies. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about our electrical-based therapies. Uh, here in our office we have five different types of electrical-based therapy. We have TENS units, transcontinuous nerve uh, stimulators, um, low volt electricity, high volt electricity, interferential current, and Russian stim. We've got uh, quite a few to choose from. Understanding, of course, that our bodies operate on electricity and uh, through our, our central nervous system, through the biologic wires we call nerves, out to the muscles and the organs, uh, changes take place and, and functions happen because electrical impulses get to where they're supposed to go. When we have an injury in the body, whether it be a, a long-term problem like an arthritis or a new problem like a sprain or a strain, uh, maybe it's a, it's a nerve irritation, one of the tools we can use in our toolbox is the electric-based uh, stimulators. I want to talk today about the interferential current in particular. That's the one where we use the, the four pads around the area. I want to explain how it works, why it works, and what makes it different from maybe some of the, the uh, things you've seen elsewhere. When we set up an injury with the uh, interferential current, we're going to put four pads around the problem. So using a red pad to red pad, we'll draw a current, and then black pad to black pad, we'll draw another current. People will often tell us that, oh, the, my, my problem isn't underneath those pads. Move the pads because the, the knot is higher or lower. The problem is, is higher or lower than the pads. What we're looking to do is surround the area with the pads. In fact, the effect we're looking for takes place in between the four pads. So if we have a, uh, a shoulder problem, we might put some pads on the arm, some pads up on the upper back. And we have a problem at the base of the neck, maybe we'll put pads at the top of the neck, and pads at the top of the, the shoulders. Maybe it's a hip problem, and we'll put pads on the low back, the hip, and the thigh, running electricity through the region. Uh, what makes interferential different than the rest is interferential is a much more comfortable electric stimulator. Your, your body does a pretty good job of keeping things out, including electricity. Your, your skin is, has a, a natural resistant barrier to electricity, and uh, interferential kind of sneaks into the body with a therapeutic uh, pulsation. And the way it works is this. Using a very high frequency of uh, electrical stimulation, we can get the electric current uh, to pass into the body. The problem is that high frequency pulsation isn't therapeutic. Interferential uses the, the principle of interference to create its effect. So we have a, a uh, base carrier wave which operates at 4,000 hertz or 4,000 cycles per second. 4,000 pulses per second. Uh, running through one set of pads. It then uses a variation upon that. In fact, it might go from 4,001 to 4,020 pulses per second if we're trying to affect inflammation, or 4,000, uh, let's see, 4,080 to 4,150 pulses per second if we're trying to um, affect pain. Now what happens is these pulse patterns overlap. They interfere with one another and essentially cancel each other out. So that high frequency 4000 carrier wave cancels out the 4000 in its uh, adjacent pad set, leaving that variation, the 1 to 20 or the, or the uh, 80 to 150. That, that is considered a medium frequency and its effect occurs in between the four pads. In fact, not only does it occur in between there, but 
due to uh, variations in the, the pulse cycle, that clover leaf effect can change. It, we can make it bigger, we can make it smaller, we can make it seem like it's moving, scanning or, or, or turning, so that we can get into and around a point of injury and affect it with either the uh, uh, anti-inflammatory or uh, analgesic effects of the medium frequency. Uh, the other interesting thing that we can do is we can cycle back and forth between the two. We can set it up so that it, it stays at one or the other, but one of the, the neat features we have is we can change it. See, your body will adapt uh, to something. Uh, if you hear a noise, ultimately you tune it out. You, you feel something, ultimately you tune it out. Well, the same thing with these pulsations. Soon enough you begin to accommodate to it, and uh, we would have to sneak up the, the intensity of the electricity for you to continue to feel it. Well, because it's variable, because we can set it up so that it switches back and forth two or three times a minute, you never really accommodate to it, and thus you continue to feel the sensation, that, that pleasurable pulsating effect with its healing properties of edema reduction and pain control. So, there you go. Not trying to turn into a physical therapist, but I want you to understand a little bit about the neat features that we can offer you here in our office. Not every office has these capabilities, but here at uh, the office of Dr. Hutter and Dr. DeVoe, you are the, uh, the beneficiary of these great tools. All right, well, there you go. There's another in our installment of Tools of the Trade. Hope to see you again soon.